Hi, hello everyone, it's me again, Mama Maria, and welcome to my channel. So for this video, we're going to discuss all about the composition of functions. This is for grade 11 general mathematics. So yun, as you can remember, meron tayong diniscuss all about evaluating functions. Um, same lang siya with evaluation of functions, but then again, meron lang siyang pinaka-twist wherein in composition of functions, Gagamit pa din tayo ng substitution process, but then again, function to function tayo. Okay, so let us proceed to the discussion proper. The composition of functions. When we say composition of functions, it is created when one function is substituted into another function. Function to function tayo. Isa substitute lang natin sila with each other. Medyo nakakalito ito based dito sa nakikita nyo to. Nakakalito lang siya pero madali lang siya talagang isolve. Basta alam nyo na yung kung paano yung evaluation of functions, madali na lang sa inyo si composition of functions. Okay? So given two functions, f and g, the composite function is defined as f composition of g of x. Or ito yung pinaka-representation niya. Ayan, f of g of x. Okay? So, kung napapansin nyo, diba, sa evaluating functions, f of x lang siya. And then, given na yung ating pinaka x, no? Pero dito, ang isa substitute natin sa lahat ng um, x or variable is yung pinaka function mismo. Ayan. So, ang symbol ng composition is ito, maliit na o. And it reads as f of g of x. So, take a look at this example. The direction is to find f composition of g of x and g composition of f of x. Okay, so isa-isahin natin para mas madaling maintindihan. Anyway, hindi naman talaga ito komplikadong problem. It's just that kayang-kaya nyo siyang sagutan as long as alam nyo na yung process. So, example number 1, f of x is equal to 3x. Ayan yung ating function number 1. And function number 2 is g of x is equal to x squared plus 4x plus 16. So, what are we going to do is to find f composition of g of x and g composition of f of x. So, i-represent natin siya as ganito. Letter A muna tayo. Hanapin daw natin si f composition of g of x. As you can see, ano yung naunang function dito? Si f, di ba? Meaning to say, ang kukuhain nating equation is si 3x. Tama? I-represent natin siya as like this. Since si f yung una, so ganito siya, f of g of x. Ayan. Meaning to say, yung g of x, siya yung ilalagay natin sa lahat ng x ni f of x. Nakakalito, di ba? So ganito, we have f of g of x is equal to 3x. Kasi ang ating f ay 3x, di ba? Ayan, f of g of x. So, what are we going to do is like, just like this. Kung ano yung nasa loob, si g of x, ito si g of x, di ba? Ayan. Kung ano yung nasa loob, yun yung isa substitute mo sa lahat ng value ni x dito. Like ito, f of g of x. So, ang ilalagay ko dito as x is substitute the value of x, which is g of x. x squared plus 4x plus 16. Alright. Napansin nyo, ha? Diba? Kinapi lang natin si 3. And then, si x, um, sinabstitute natin yung value ni g of x since siya yung nasa loob dito. So, ang value ni g of x is x squared plus 4x plus 16. Okay? And then, next is to do distribution property. Like this. So, 3 times x squared, every term, ha? is equal to 3x squared. And then, 3 times 4x, or 3 times positive 4x, is equal to positive 12x. And 3 times 16 is equal to positive 48. So, ganun lang. Yan na yung pinakasagot natin. Ganun lang siya kasimple. Next naman is, itong g composition of f of x. Same process. Pinagkaiba lang, nag-iba na yung pinakauna nating function, which is g of x. So, lagyan natin ng b. Ang atin pong hinahanap ay g composition of f of x. 
And then, i-represent natin siya kagaya nito. Nuuna natin si G. Right? Kasi si G yung nauna dito. Okay? And then, F of X. Kasi siya yung isa substitute natin sa lahat ng X ni G. Taray. Sa substitute sa lahat ng X ni G. Okay. And then, our, the value of G of X is x squared plus 4x plus 16. Tama? Since si G, ayan. And then, what is the value of f of x? It is equal to 3x. Tama? And then, ganyan lang. Then, after that, itong 3x na to is a substitute mo sa lahat ng value ni x dito. Okay? x, merong x dito. So, 3x squared plus 4 times x ulit, and then substitute 3x plus 16, right? And then right after that simplified equation, 3x squared, the answer will be 9x squared. Kasi 3 times 3 is 9, and x times x is um, x squared, okay? Plus 4 times 3x is equal to 12x plus 16. And that is the final answer. For the next example, we have f of x is equal to x plus 1 and g of x is equal to 3x plus 2. And what are we going to do is to find f composition of g of x and it was defined as f of g of x. Okay? So, ang una nyo gagawin, um, i-copy lang natin si f. Since si f of x yung unang function, so, sa kanya tayo magpe-perform ng substitution property. Okay? And then, F, ano ba ang value ni G of X? Ayan. So, si G of X is equal to 3X plus 2. Ilagay na natin yan dyan. 3X plus 2. Right? And then, next thing to do is to get F of X. X plus 1. Okay? Then, sabi ko nga kanina, since, since si F yung nauna dito, siya yung gagawa natin ng substitution property. Okay? So, si x, meron na ditong x, and then, substitute the value of g of x, which is 3x plus 2. So, 3x plus 2 plus 1. Okay? And then, simplify until you get the correct answer. So, 3x, meron ba siyang ka-like terms? Wala. So, 3x lang siya, copy. And then, 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. Alright? So, yan na yung pinakasagot natin. 3x plus 3. Next is to find... G composition of f of x. Since si G yung una dito, okay, siya yung gagamitan natin ng substitution property. Okay? How? Since si G siya, okay, copy lang natin. What is the value of f of x? f of x is x plus 1. Then, G of x is 3x plus 2. No? Ito, g of x na siya. G of x, 3x plus 2. If x is x plus 1. So, ganun lang naman siya. Kasimple. Medyo nakakalito lang siya sa una. Pero kapag nalaman nyo na siya, hindi na kayo malilito. Okay? So, we have 3. And the value of x is x plus 1. Same lang siya as evaluating function na plus 2. Then, do distribution property. So, we have 3 times x is 3x. 3 times 1 is positive 3 plus 2. And then, since si 3x is wala naman siyang ka-like terms dito, i-copy na lang natin dyan. And then, 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. And that is already the answer. 3x plus 5. Okay, so take a look at example number 3. We have f of x is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 2, and g of x is equal to negative 2x. So, the first thing to do is to find f composition of g of x. Okay, it defined as f of g of x. f, and then our g of x is equal to negative 2x, x squared minus 6x plus 2. Next thing to do is substitution sa lahat ng x natin. So, we have negative 2x squared minus 6 times negative 2x plus 2 to simplify until you get the correct answer. Okay, so negative 2x times negative 2x since meron tayong square. So, we have 
positive 4x squared. Negative 6 times negative 2x is equal to positive 12x. Kasi negative times negative is positive. Plus 2. And then, that's it. That is already the answer. Next thing to find is g composition of f of x. And then, it was represented by g of f of x. Okay? So, meaning to say, since si g yung una dito, siya yung gagamitin natin. And then, yung isa substitute naman natin is si f of x. Okay? So, we have g, our f of x is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 2 equal to negative 2x. So, substitute natin si value ng x. So, we have negative 2, copy lang, then si x. Ito, substitute natin. We have x squared minus 6x plus 2. The next is to do distribution. We have negative 2 times x squared is equal to negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times negative 6x is equal to positive 12x since negative times negative is equal to positive. Okay? Then next is negative 2 times positive 2 is equal to negative 4. That is the answer. So take a look at this. Remember, we can even compose a function with itself. Sa sarili lang niya mismo, nung function. So, as you can see, isa lang yung given, which is f of x is equal to 9x. And we are going to find f composition of f of x. Same process pa din, okay? Ang pinagkaiba lang is isa lang siya, wherein um, isa substitute natin siya sa kanya. So, we have f of f of x, right? And then, we have 9x. So, we have f of 9x is equal to 9. Then, substitute the value of x. We have 9x. Yan. And then, 9 times 9x is equal to 81x. And that is already the answer. That is all for this video. I hope you have learned something. And, of course, huwag nyo kalimutan mag-subscribe, mag-like, and mag-comment ng suggestions ng topics na gusto nyo gawan ko ng tutorial. So yun lang, thank you so much and God bless everyone.